Well, let's go ahead and do our barrel real fast. I'm going to pull out a barrel here, a circ cylinder. I'll make it 275 by 275. And I'll pull it out. Oh, about that much. And that's good enough. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this end. I'll worry about that end later. I'm going to hit the B key and bevel it. I'm going to bevel it in like this. And pull it out like so. I'm going to shift click again. And I'm going to bring it out. Shift click. Bevel it in. Shift click. Bring it out just a little bit. Shift click, bevel it back out to about the same size. Shift click, bring it out again. Shift click, bevel it in, pull it out. Shift click, bevel it down. And let's pull this. I won't bevel it down too far. Shift click, and pull that out. Like so. Looks pretty good there. I'm going to shift click again, bevel this out, and pull it forward. Shift click, bring it straight out. Shift click, bevel it down, and bring it out. Like so. Let's shift click, bevel it out like this without bringing it forward. Shift click again, bring it on up. Shift click, bevel it down, pull it out. Shift click, push it straight back in. Okay, so now we've got our rough barrel. Let's go in here and select this loop. And we're going to bevel them. And we're going to deselect group polygons. I'm going to click and we're going to bevel them in. We're going to push them back in like so. I'm going to shift click again and push them on down like that. Gives us a unique vent look there. Okay, now we're going to select through here. And I'm going to run a loop slice with a count of two like that. Then I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to bring them up to about right here. Then I'm going to select this middle loop. Actually, I'm just going to select these two polygons. And I'm going to go around and select the same two polygons on the other side. Let's hit the B key for bevel. Let's bevel them in. Make sure group polygons is selected. Shift click and pull them back. Like so. Now let's go here and let's select this loop. Let's bevel them, deselect group polygons. Let's bevel them out like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And push them back in. Shift click. Push them in again. And that isn't working, so let's <laughs> let's undo that. So <laughs> let's um, bevel them again with Group polygons deselected. Let's bevel them in. Shift click. And push them back down. Like that. Now that gives us kind of a unique round look. So now let's go over here and start cleaning up our mesh. Let's go in here. Run some loop slices. Like so. Run some loop slices around these big sections. And let's run one through here. Through here. Loop size loss slices are a major deal, especially in Moto. You can accomplish so much with them. Now that looks to be holding pretty good. Let's go move on up. Moving on up, moving on up to the sky. 
Uh, let's run a loop slice right up through here like this. We'll put it close to the edge. Now that's holding our square. Let's go here. Let's run some loop slices. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's undo that. And let's run another loop slice. Like that. Now let's run one up through here. And one around the middle. And now let's don't forget about this side. We want to run this side here. So we'll go this way. Okay, there's our barrel. Now let's go in here. Let's select our meshes here so I can see what's going on. Let's get in close. Let's select this polygon. Let's extrude it. That way, this is connected. Okay? And the base can swivel along with the glass. Looks pretty good there. Okay. Now everything's connected. Let's go in here. Let's cut out our gun. Let's put it in with our. Let's put it in with our middle. Let's see here, where can we put it? Into the brace. And we'll bring it closer up. I'm gonna go in here now. Select this, let's go ahead and select this and bevel it. Just to hold our edge. Now let's select this one, and let's extrude it into our gun. And our mech is finished. It's connected. Everything looks good. Let's turn on our glass material. And as you can see, we got our seat. I put the extra display in there. You all can go in and add the details, OK? We got our gun. This connects to this. When this swivels around here, this will swivel around. We got this we can animate. It goes up and down. This can be animated. This is connected to this, so it'll swivel along with it. Oh, everything is done. And let's take a quick render of this. And after about 20 parts, we've got a completed mech. So there we go, guys. I hope you guys have learned something from this series. We'll see you in the next one. Maybe we'll build a pistol or something. Later, guys.